live life to the fullest on muscle cars and more. Let's get it. Let's go. What up, what up, what up? Welcome to another episode of Muscle Cars and More with your boy Stunner Reese, man. And today, y'all can see, man, it's sunny. It's bright outside here in Chicago, man. But it is still damn cold. That's right, man. You can see we still got snow on the ground right here in Chicago. And, uh, man, just seem like it's never going to end, man. But today, I'm going to show you guys... A review man this is an honest to truth review um so let me tell y'all the little backstory of how this review is even coming about today all right and this is real all right so last night your boy stunner reese was about to take the hellcat yell cat out and do a little promoting for my car show that's right the biggest car show in chicago man stunner jam 2k19 man it's definitely going down y'all make sure y'all come out to that man it's gonna be an epic event and when I say we got cars and people coming from all over the country, that's right, man. It's going to be all different type of cars, all different type of states coming out, man. It's a collab event with me and my boy Playboy Jeezy. But when I went to go out last night, I noticed that my car was on a flat. That's right, man. Now, you can see the tire is real low and the culprit is boom right there man you got a nail in the damn tire man ain't that about a bitch now listen hey it happens man y'all know my reviews is 100 real i do no full gazy stuff on my reviews but guess what i got from my good friends over at adu they sent me a tire compressor and it's 150 psi it comes with a three-piece adapter kit and it's basically something you just keep in your car and you can plug right in your cigarette lighter and you can use it whenever you need it for emergency use all right inflates the tires and other inflatable objects and it operates like i said right from the cigarette lighter socket all right now it even comes in different colors i don't know what color this one is to be honest with you but I will see in just a second. I haven't opened it up. And uh, I do. You guys know who they are. They are the same people who sent me the jumper box to do a review on it. And as you guys seen, that thing works like a charm. That's right, man. So I do make good products. But we're going to see today if this works. Now, hopefully it's this yellow one. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we get the yellow one. But we'll see, man. Just one second. I haven't opened this up. This is 100% real review wow they must have seen my videos <laughs> they must have seen my videos this is crazy so they did send me yellow what y'all think make sure you get one to match your car where as close to your car as possible if you can but yeah this is nice now I see it has a light um they got the gauge right there and my phone is ringing and beeping and stuff, but we're going to see. So, let me show you, just give you a comparison of the two tires. That is a flat tire. And y'all can see. And that's how the tires go. So, yeah. How am I the only one? To catch a flat now y'all know my tires is bowed and ready to go bad anyway you know and uh i just was trying to squeak the last little day out of it because you know i ordered some new tires for the car anyway i'm just uh one of those stagnating procrastinating type of people when it comes to certain things because it ain't that time of year yet you know what i'm saying for me to actually be driving the car on a daily you know what i'm saying and uh really putting it out there so it's like there's no rush because the car's only sitting in the garage all day all night anyway you know so it was like hey let's just get to it when we absolutely need to but now it's time for tires so <laughs> but today i just need to show you guys just how good this i do tire inflator works all right 
Now, if it don't work, I do. I'm sorry, man. It's going to be real. It's going to be real. I'm going to show y'all just how fast it works and everything. So I'm not cutting this camera off. All right, so let's get it go. Go on. I got to unwrap the tie so that we can get it stretched out. Now, hopefully the cord is long enough because I have had some tire inflators that the cord was so short, you couldn't even get it to the tire, you know, and that could be a problem. You know what I'm saying? It's a waste of money, waste of time. You go and buy a, a, a inflator and you can't get it to the tire you need. Uh, and even with you having like a Chevy Suburban or something like that, I mean, it should have plenty of room so that you can get your um, machine to the tire. gonna turn that on but we gonna not start the engine because i want y'all to be able to at least hear me when i talk so let's the first test is to see and make sure we got enough wire to get it to the tire and yes it definitely passes the first test it's got plenty enough room plenty enough wire and i still haven't even pulled out inflator cord yet all right so now we got the inflator cord y'all hold on one second Bring it down. Boom. so y'all know i don't want to scratch the yellow so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, set that down just like that so you want to make sure that this is all the way on as good as you can get it on there before you actually close the claps down Boom. Now you now that that's secure. Now that you got that all the way secure on there, if you can make sure that this line is not crumpled up or anything at any point, uh, so it doesn't block the air from coming in, it doesn't make the actual motor in the machine overheat. Then once you got that, you just simply the button. The now we just gotta see if it's gonna work. Now it does have the gauge right there, so it'll let you know if it's coming up or not. Now the gauge is nice and big. It's not a real small gauge. And the machine is not actually that big. It's kind of a compact size. As you can see, that's my hand. It's not even as big as my hand. Nice and compact. Now, you know, it's gonna make a little noise, but that's to be expected because it's a pump that's pumping air. Actually looks good sitting next to my car. These gold wheels just go crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so we gotta get the tire inflated to look back like that. Now I run about 30, two to 35 pounds in my tires that's about it um because i don't drive the car much and uh i don't do a lot of cross-country stuff in the car i have did a couple of road trips but for the most part it's all local so that's pretty much what i run uh, checking back in we are getting a little process progress i'm sorry but uh it's going so i'm not gonna cut the camera so y'all gonna have to wait just like i gotta wait all right so but while we're waiting on that if it's your first time checking out my channel i'm gonna go ahead and get it out the way man make sure you hit that subscribe button the muscle cars and more definitely make sure you turn on all the post notifications all right make sure you definitely share this video if you guys need this product, I will have a link in my description so that you guys can actually see uh, and know exactly where to order it from to make it easy for you guys. Uh, also, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I got two Instagrams, but the one for the Hellcat Yellcat is at Hellcat underscore Yellcat. 
All right, and my main Instagram is Stunna underscore Reese. Make sure you follow that. That's my main primary Instagram, all right? But yeah, so let's see if we're getting any progress. We are definitely getting progress. It is definitely inflating. I can actually see it inflating as well. I would be the one to get a dag on nail in my tire. And it's almost on the sidewall. That's what's crazy. Like, but that was just God's way of telling me, hey boy, take them damn tires off of that car, man. Don't kill your damn self. Yeah, especially with snow still on the ground out here in Chicago. Sometimes things just ain't meant to be. So you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, the Hellcat Yellcat is looking pretty good. Haven't drove it since the Tuna Galleria show, so. But it's like it got right back dirty. Catfish, I need you again. You guys can definitely see it is definitely pumping up. It's about 10 pounds now. We got to get it to about 32 pounds. So y'all be patient, man. Hang in there with your kid. With the kid. I'm sorry. Stunner Reese, man. Now y'all know, man, all summer long, we got to make sure we support all the other car events in the area of Chicago. And uh, I need the whole Chicago and the whole nation to come out, man. And make sure you rock out with me, man, for Stunner Gym. 2K19, man. Listen, gonna be an epic event. That's right, man. Sunday, September 1st at Universal Entertainment Center on 119th South Loomis, Chicago. The event goes from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Kids free all day. Now, I normally make it a midway call out, but this year, it's gonna be a national call out. That's right, man. The whole nation, the top 50 cars from the whole nation, that's who's gonna get the award. Now, some people are like, why you only give away top 50? Why you only give away top 50? If you go to some of the bigger, bigger shows like the World of Wheels or whatever, the, the Riddler shows, they only give out like a minimum amount of trophies. So I don't wanna hear it, all right? So, you know, it's only the best of the best. And that's what this show is all about. The best of the best. All right. Stunner Jam is different from every other show. It's the only show that the whole crowd is the ones that vote for the car. Not just personal judges. You know, a lot of people say, hey, why? You know what I'm saying? You don't do judges because if I'm a judge, and I like this car myself personally, I might vote for this car. It not, may not be that it's the best car. It's because this is what I like. It's the type of car I like. So I think that with the streets judging, you don't have to worry about that because you got multiple people, people feeling your car if they really like it, you know, opposed to one person saying, hey, I like this car, I like this car, I like this car. So those are cars that I'm going to pick because that's what I like. All right, now that we just checked back in, you can see it's almost at 25 pounds. So we are almost there. So don't end the video yet, guys, because I'm going to show you, man, 100% if it works or if it doesn't. Now, you can see it's working, but what if it just stopped right now? What if the engine blew on it or whatever? We got to show you that it's dependable just as well. So, yeah, I'm not going to show you no bullshit. So, yeah. But I do definitely makes good products from what I've tested. The, uh, I stand behind their products and just like the jumper box. You know, if you guys haven't seen that jumper box video, it is very compact. It's the size of my hand and it started my Suburban that has been sitting for about four, three to four months. 
dead. It was totally dead. No power at all. So make sure you go back and check out that video. And if you need a jumper box that's small, compact, you can put it in your glove box. Grab the uh, I do uh, jumper box. It's definitely well worth the money. All right, so we over 25 pounds, guys. So we almost there. Just about seven more pounds to go. But you can definitely see the tire has scared up compared to how it was at first. And uh, yeah, we getting there. We are getting there. Now, while we got a few more minutes, I want to give you guys an update. Hopefully you guys went and watched my video from yesterday. That's right, man. That's right. Dracula update. So make sure you go back and watch that video so you can see my update of Dracula. Now, Dracula is definitely on the home stretch of coming home or the final stretch of coming home. So we're about to tear up the street. We're about to terrorize the streets. That's what I'm about to say. Because Dracula, he out for blood this year. All right, guys, so we got about maybe four more pounds to go. We are almost at 30 pounds. So bear with me, bear with me. Let's get it, let's go. There's the culprit, the nail. And that's the answer, the solution, right there. The Audu air compressor. It works and it looks good. Doesn't feel cheap, doesn't feel, you know, flimsy like it's gonna break after two or three uses. Definitely a good product. Okay guys, we have 30 pounds, two more pounds to go. Hang in there, hang in there, let's go. One more pound, one more pound. Let's go, we, we right there. Boom. And just like that, man, it is inflated. Shout out to Adu, man. Definitely make sure you guys Click the link in my bio, grab your air compressor, grab your tire inflator. It's great for emergencies. It's small, it's compact, put it in your trunk. It might even fit in your glove box. It's that compact, but I definitely stand behind it. Uh, this is a real review. Y'all know I only do real reviews. I don't do no phony, I don't do no fake reviews, all right? So yeah, I definitely stand behind it, man. Like I said, guys, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, and let me know what you guys think about the I do tire inflator. All right, till next time, it's your boy Stunner Reese, man. I'm out. Let's get it.